Hello, this is Alex, welcome to Boomstick Gaming, and let's be honest, the Death Stranding community out there is pretty darn amazing. In my last video I asked you all to submit your own useful tips that I didn't already cover myself, and you definitely all delivered, just like the prestigious porters you truly are. I will be highlighting here some of the best tips that you all submitted, and although many of the same ones were submitted by multiple people, in traditional Death Stranding fashion, I am crediting whoever had the most likes on their comment to make this as simple as possible. Some of these were absolutely awesome, and since I have chosen to not watch or read a single thing about this game outside of my own comment section, it has made for a really cool sense of camaraderie with you all in and out of the game's world. Now enough explaining, let's dive into the unknown and uncover the best tips that you had to offer. As soon as you have the ability to craft traditional guns that shoot real bullets, these will not be incredibly useful on their own against BTs, at least until you get to higher rank ones, but when you combine these with your hermetic grenades, they all of a sudden become the best tool for taking down BT boss enemies. Immediately after throwing a hermetic grenade, instantly switch out to any regular gun like an assault rifle, shotgun, or handgun, and blast straight through that hermetic smoke in the air, which will coat your bullets in your own blood, inflicting an insane amount of damage. Killing humans with these kinds of weapons is greatly discouraged in this game, since it can cause more void outs if you go on a killing spree, so it's pretty awesome to see these guns gain an entirely new importance for battling the dead. Your floating carriers have a slightly more dangerous use outside of just being able to haul goods, allowing you to actually climb on top of them to haphazardly slide down inclines. The lighter you are and the steeper the slope, you guessed it, the faster you'll go. Make sure to step off right before crashing into anything because this is not only a fun way to get around, but also a fun way to fall right on your face. Get it together. If you've been using trucks to haul goods in Death Stranding, I'm sure you're probably already in love with them, but how do you know when they're reaching their cargo limits? Well, these strips of light on the backside of the truck actually indicate its current carrying capacity. These will fill up the more you load in and turn red when you need to remove weight. I'm sure you've probably encountered this scenario where you're trying to sneak through BT territory with tons of cargo on your back, and you can't quite see your scanner, which is trying to indicate you where those BTs are hiding. Instead of trying to awkwardly move and shift the camera all around, simply click in the right stick to shift the camera's perspective to the opposite shoulder, which should now give you a nice clear view of your weird corporeal baby monitor. If you're trying to plan out your route without opening up the map screen, you can actually get a pretty good lay of the land by using your viewfinder compass. If you aim at any location within range, you can mark it, which will spit out a visual representation of the terrain elevations you'll need to travel across to get there. This is great for spotting chasms before driving a vehicle straight into one, I know you already have, or this can just give you slightly better intel on the general topography. Since your veins are already coursing with a strange combination of limbo-infused blood and monster energy drink, it only makes sense that your urine is pretty much pure acid. BTs are definitely not a fan of this, and you can scare them off pretty easily by aiming your stuff in their general direction. This has a decently long startup animation which might not make it too practical in some situations, but still, if you're out of resources, well, you know what to do. Show yourself. Performing a wheelie on a bike has more practical use than simply to show off to your friends. Certain rocky terrain can really be a pain while driving normally with a bike, but if you hold a wheelie instead, you'll find that you get hung up on small rubble far less often. 
As someone who primarily uses trucks when I have to, those darn things get stuck every 20 feet, so I might have to switch back over to bikes. Your EX files that are made after you take a shower have somewhat more of a silly use outside of their BT busting abilities. When thrown at human enemies, they'll actually slip and bumble all around in this toxic liquid. Is this a practical way to approach combat? Nope. Is it fun to do? Yes, yes it is. If you're really concerned with where those BT infested areas are out in the world, look out to the horizon for visible stranding in the air as well as those horrifying rainbows. If you're hauling easily breakable cargo, you might want to use these indicators to your advantage to simply not have to deal with those fervent fans of yours from the underworld. As you become a more renowned package delivery boy, you'll be improving your ability to like other player structures and tags. If you're simply clicking like once and moving on with your life, wait a second, turn around, go back and properly mash the heck out of that like button to give your fellow players the boost they deserve. Your bola gun is amazing at quickly taking down human enemies, but any shot below the head will only temporarily bind them, which is indicated by a chain link looking symbol. If instead you nail a headshot with this, you will truly take them out of commission, which is indicated by the star symbol meaning you properly knocked them out. If you're aimlessly boosting around on your favorite bike and it happens to run out of energy, if you can't craft your own generator, you're not entirely out of luck. If you do happen to see one close by though, you can actually pump left and right with your bike, even when it's completely drained, to inch forward which might just be enough to make it to that charging station. This last one is not necessarily a tip and more of a slight easter egg, but still pretty cool. If you die at the very start of the game, well, you get a pretty weird little scene that'll just let speak for itself. Those were all the tips the community had for you today, and I really appreciate how resoundingly positive the comments section was in my last Death Stranding video. There is hope for humanity yet. I really think it's cool to see everyone working together in and out of the game to help crack this strange experience, so keep it up. If you happen to enjoy my style of informative gaming content, consider subscribing for more, ringing that little bell icon if you already are, and you can also find me on Twitter at BoomstickAlex. A special mention to these top YouTube members and patrons who have chosen to support this individually owned and operated channel. As always, this has been Alex from Boomstick Gaming, and thanks for watching.